Looking for a reason to craft this winter season? Well here you go, cause it's time to bring out the beads and let it snow. These bead snowflakes are the perfect charms and decorations. Of course they're fast, fun and easy to make. So here's a simple tutorial for you to create one just as great. So hopefully this tutorial will fulfill your creative needs. Feel free to give this video a like and enjoy this episode of Turbo Beads. Here's the list of everything you need to make the beaded snowflake. The first thing you will need is about 5 feet of string. What you will do is add 12 beads to the string. When you have all 12 beads on that string, you'll move those beads toward one end of the string and tie both ends of string together with a square knot. This will bring all the beads together in a semicircle. Be sure that your knot is tied nice and tight. When you finish tying the knot, you should be able to form the beads in the shape of a hexagon. That's a shape with six points. This is how it should look so far. Like I said, it should be in the shape of a hexagon. Let's take the long end of the string and run it back through the closest speed point and pull the string all the way through. This will set us up for the next parts. We will build around the shape by adding beads to the long end of the string and running the string all the way through each bead point to create the shape of a six pointed star. Let's go ahead and take the long end of the string and add three beads to the string. When you have those three beads on that string, you'll run that string to the next bead point of the hexagon. When you pull the string all the way through, the three beads will fit in place and create a point. We will continue repeating this process around the hexagon to create the shape of a star. Once again, adding three beads to the string and running that string to the next point of the hexagon. When you get that string all the way through that bead point and pull the string all the way through, the beads will fit right into place creating another point just like this. As we did before, taking that long end of string and adding three beads to that string. Once you have those beads on the string, you'll take that string and run it through the next bead point of that hexagon, pulling the string all the way through until you've created the next point. Continue repeating these same steps by adding three beads to the string, running that string to the next point of the hexagon, getting the string all the way through that point, pulling the string all the way through until the beads fit right in place, forming the next point. As you can see with this visual reference, everything should be coming together pretty nicely. The first step should be pretty easy to understand, which is just like creating a candy star. Remember, to get the string all the way through that bead, pull the string nice and tight, ensuring that the beads stay in formation. Now it's on to creating the sixth point of the star, which will have the same steps as we did before. Remember, that's three beads on the string and running that string to the next point of the hexagon. Watch closely as I guide the string to this point to create the sixth point of the star. Don't forget, when you get that string all the way through that bead point, you'll pull the string nice and tight to ensure that the beads stay in the correct formation. Once you finish the sixth point of the star, you will continue going in that same direction, running the string to these two beads with the string coming out of the tip. Again, watch closely as I guide the string through these beads. Once you have the string all the way through those two beads, this is exactly what everything should look like so far. From this point, I would recommend running the string around the pattern through all of the beads that create the outline of the star. This will strengthen and reinforce the beads, keeping everything feeling a bit more firm. Running the string all the way around until you've reached it back to this point. Now that you have the string coming out of this bead point, you will create the tips of the snowflake by using that same end of string and adding three beads to the string. Now that we have the three beads on that string, watch closely. Since the string is coming out of this end of the bead, you'll take that string and run it through the other end of the bead coming out going in the same direction, pretty much like making a loop. When you pull the string all the way through, those three beads will make the tip of the snowflake, which you may need to shape them to look like this. Here's what the tip should look like. Now that we have finished the first tip of the snowflake and the string is coming out of this bead, we will run that string through these beads until we've reached the next point. 
once you have the string at the next point with the string going through that point like this, what you will do is add three beads to the string and run it through the other end of the bead coming out of the original direction. As I said before, it's like creating a loop. Be sure to pull the string nice and tight to keep the beads in formation, as you may need to arrange the beads in the correct position in order to form the perfect shape of the tip, just like this. Again, with the string coming out of this bead, using that same string, we will run the string through these beads until we reach to the next point. Just like we did with the other tips, when the string is coming out of this bead, we will once again add three beads to the string. As you can see, the string is coming out of this end of the bead. Let's take one end of the string and run it through that bead again, pull the string all the way through nice and tight until you've created the tip. Don't forget to form the beads in this desired shape. As a side note, you can always lay the pattern down flat, pulling the string tight to ensure the beads stay in formation. Once again, run the string through the beads until you've reached the next point. As we've done with the previous points, add three beads to the string and run that string through the next point of the hexagon to create the tip. Remembering to run that string through that same point, pulling the string all the way through, keeping the string tight and pushing the beads into place so that it looks like a snowflake shape. Now that we have finished this tip, Run the string through the beads until you've reached to this next point. Once you've reached this point with the string coming out of this bead, let's add three beads to the string and running that string through the bead again, pulling the string all the way through until you've created the tip of the snowflake. With the fifth tip finished, you should know exactly what to do from here. Run the string to the next point with the string coming out of this bead, add three beads to the string and run that string to the next point again. Pull the string tight and shape the beads to create the tip of the snowflake. Once you have finished the last tip of the pattern, you will want to run the string through a number of beads until you've reached the other end of the string, which was the starting point. Once you have the string back to the starting point, you will take both ends of string and tie them together with a square knot to keep all the beads locked in place. Be sure that your knot is tied nice and tight, ensuring that everything stays together. Once your knot is tied, you'll carefully cut off the tied loose ends of string and your bead snowflake is now complete. And there you have it, a cool bead design that's more than perfect, it's divine. So what did you think about this pattern? Letting me know in the comments below would be just fine. And if there's anything you'd like to add, request your suggestions. Don't be afraid to leave a comment below as well. And if you are new, or you just haven't already, don't forget, you can always subscribe if you want to be notified for more bead tutorials just like this one. Hoping you'll tune in for the next one and fulfill your creative needs. Until next time, thanks for watching Turbo Beats.